Hi, welcome everybody. It's Mike Newton here at Lytham Golf Academy. I've got an iron head-to-head, -head, a forged iron head-to-head, -head, and one that I'm really interested in looking at here is between the Shrixen Z765 iron. So they're sort of middle iron of the three. They're often a little bit of cavity, small cavity, against a brand new Mizuno MP18SC. So the split cavity. Again, a little bit of a small cavity there in the Mizuno option. So two forged heads, both six irons here. So I'm really interested because I play, I don't actually play the 7.65, I've still got the old 7.45s in the Shrix and so I'm maybe ready for a sort of a bit of an update in the bag and I'm really interested to see how these two perform because I'm loving the look of the new MP18 irons. Obviously forged head, beautiful look, beautiful feel, but so are the Shrix and so it'll be really interested to see the difference in performance of these two clubs. So these are two six irons I've got here. Now the Mizuno six iron is 30 degrees of loft, okay? And the Shrixen is 28 degrees. So two degrees stronger with the Shrixen. So I'm guessing we're gonna see maybe a little bit more length with the Shrixen, possibly a little bit more ball speed, and maybe a slightly lower spin number. And that's probably the one to really look at here is trying to mix up obviously a launch angle with um, sort of ball speed distance, but also a good controllable spin number as it comes into land. I've got these both in Project LZ shafts, 6.0, half inch longer, two degrees upright on the head. So exactly the same specs here between the two irons. The only difference is the two degrees difference on the loft. Okay, so I've set myself up on the simulator here, 190 yards out from the green. As I say, these are both six irons here. And I'm going to start off with the Shrixen 765 iron first. So... I think this is probably the biggest selling iron out of the three models that Shrixen offer here. So it's the, that sort of real nice sort of classic look behind the golf ball, but you've got that little small cavity behind it just to help on a little bit of off-centre hits. Um, it, it's, a, it's a great looking iron. I mean, I'm a big fan of the Shrixens. Uh, the feel of them is, is great. It's a true forged golf club here. I mean, as I sit that down by the golf ball, I love the look of it. You know, it's, it's a, a minute offset there. It's It's... Probably a, a, a thin, medium sort of top line, probably a bit more medium top line. It's not the thinnest of top lines, which I like because I don't want to see a, an absolute slither of metal because that doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence. So I know this, if I just venture a little bit from the middle of the club face, I'm just going to get helped out a little bit more here. So I'm going to just give this first one a hit. That's a good solid opening shot there. Just slightly pulled it, just gonna hang on the green there. Uh, hit the green obviously there, 187 carry. But you know, as I expect, and I know a little bit of this golf club, it feels great. You know, it feels soft, it feels responsive, it feels like you can shape the golf ball quite a bit here. Yeah, it's a good solid shot again. Bit more straight to that time, the target line about 180, sort of carry there, yeah, 180. Okay, good, nice straight shot, feels really nice and soft. Just a very, for me, a very simple looking golf club as I sit that down by the golf ball. Yeah, again, really good central strike there, just push that one a fraction. Yeah, just missing that edge of the green there, just fractionally. 186, so obviously good strike there. I'm just really, really interested to look at spin number with this club. And I'm guessing, you know, 28 degrees of loft, it's a little bit stronger. That spin number might just drop down a little bit here, which might just sacrifice a little bit that stopping power at the other end of the, of the shot. Again, just a really good solid strike there. Coming out at... 186. Okay, so there's a batch of shots hit with the Shrix the 76. I'm going to jump over to the MP18 SC, which is a split cavity head. Batch of shots without, and then look at some numbers. Okay, so we've now got the Mizuno MP18 SC iron in our hands here. So again, this is the middle sort of one of the MP18 new range. You've got the muscle back in the blade. You've got this SC iron, which is the split cavity. And then you've got the MMC, which has got a little bit more titanium and tungsten in, in the actual head. So this is sort of very much getting into that very classic look again. That little bit of help with a little bit of cavity in, in the back there. Very similar to process to what the Shrixen is doing here. So again, as I'm putting that down by the golf ball there, I'm seeing just a really classic head. Very little offset. Probably very similar offset uh, to the Shrixen there. And a very similar top hedge there. So it's, 
it's, it's maybe just a slightly more compact head size from heel to toe, probably if I'm going to say anything between those two clubs, but a really nice looking golf club there. Let's get this first one hit. Yeah, it's a good strike again. So what I'm seeing straight away there is a slightly higher ball flight there than, than probably the shrimps in there. So obviously this is 30 degrees of loft, so we should probably see that a little bit more higher launch there. Maybe not quite as much ball speed um, as the Shrix in, and maybe the spin number might just change a little bit here. Okay, I've just, I've just, just, I'm interested, I've just picked up the Shrix in iron, I'm just putting these side by side on the ground here, and I'll show you a little close up on the screen here, just to see the differences between the two heads here. And I think when I put them side by side, definitely seeing a slightly larger profile head on the Shrix in there. Uh, the Mizuno is definitely a little bit more compact uh, against the two. Now, obviously, the restriction you've got that V sole on the on the sole of the golf club there, which is they're saying is helping with turf interaction. We don't sort of see that in the uh, in the Mizuno there. Whether that makes a massive difference, I'm not too sure. But definitely a little bit more of a compact head in the Mizuno against the Shrixen. Wow, I mean that just feels fantastic. Really good strike there. Definitely seeing a more higher ball flight. So that's carrying at 183. Just interesting to look at spin number quick amount. 5848, 8, 5848 spin there. So that's in a good area. And definitely a sort of higher ball flight there. Yeah, again, another another. Good solid strike, soft feeling golf iron that, you know, it, we know that from Mizuno's, they do produce some fantastic feeling golf clubs, very soft on the, on the grain flow, forged, is obviously their, um, their real main feature that they're sort of working on, uh, but again really solid, really solid golf shot, nice straight golf shot, hitting the green which I'm liking. Okay, so I'm just going to hit the last one with the Mizuno here, see if we can finish on a good one. Okay, so that was a little bit low in the face, wasn't the best strike that, but I'm still hitting grain 182 carry there, so it's still doing all, 181, still doing all right there to be honest, I definitely felt that was low in the face there, but still hitting target which is great. Right, two shots hit, uh, sorry, two clubs both hit there, let's go and have a look at some numbers. Right, let's check some numbers out then, so Shrix on the top, uh, MP18 on the bottom, so we can see club head speed, not much in it, half a mile an hour quicker with the uh, MP18 there. Didn't feel like I'd, I, I saw that half an hour or didn't feel that extra half hour, half a mile an hour uh, club head speed. Ball speed, 128.1, so a good mile an hour slower with the MP18, probably because of the loft, so two degrees weaker. The ball shouldn't really come off the face as quick. Launch angle, as you should expect, two degrees um, weaker on the loft, so slightly higher on that launch angle with the MP18. We're looking at spin number, very similar here. And to be honest, I'm quite pleased with the Shrixen one because I thought that might be a little bit lower being 28 degrees, but, um, you know, six iron, roughly working around the 6,000 mark. That's a decent number. And it's the sort of number you'd expect from this type of iron which suited to, a, to a, probably a, a golfer who's looking for not so much distance, but mainly uh, a bit more control in terms of a consistent spin number there. And I think looking through those spin numbers, they're fairly consistent. The first one just a little bit low, but others are, you know, in the very uh, sort of similar area. You see the MP18, obviously a little bit more spin, more loft, um, but again, very consistent on the spin numbers. And that's what these irons are all about. It's delivering consistent numbers. It's not all about one that jumps out there another 10 yards further. It's all about more sort of consistency on your numbers. So we'll look, turn that into sort of carry distances here. So we've got uh, 186, uh, uh, sorry, average at 184 there. That second one obviously just dropped top there. I didn't speak, yeah, so 126 ball speed obviously didn't strike that second one with the Shrixen as good, just dropped off a little bit. But average at 184, and you see the Mizuno there, very tight on the numbers there at 181, which is quite nice. Right, guys, so there we have it. Um, two really good irons, in my opinion, you know, with the new Mizuno MP18, Shrixen Z765. Now, Shrixens have, have come on back onto the market about three, four years ago now. Um, into the European market, should I say, and you know they've gone, they've hit a, 
they've gone off in the storm. You know, it's a fantastic product, really good products, a very, very good price point. Um, and it's it's high quality, you know, it's a really good sort of set of irons. Now the Mizuno MP18 is a, is a little bit of a higher price point there, but we know Mizuno's background, you know, they've made irons, quality irons for many, many years, and they're still doing that. And this is no exception with the MP18 range. So t for me, two really good irons and, and two probably very popular options here, because a lot of golfers I find do want the looks, they do want the forged head, but they also want that bit of help and the bit of forgiveness there. And this is sort of giving it, but definitely backing it up with some very consistent numbers there, which is what's probably the golfer that's going to get into these, that sort of single figure golfer, maybe sort of early teens golfer, is going to want from this sort of iron. It's going to want that consistency. And that's what they are delivering here. So for me, if I'm going to make a call, if I'm buying, I'm going to make a call between these two irons. I have got loyalties to Strixon. I've had Strixon for a long time. I love it. Really do love it. But as I said, the Harvest Muso MP18 iron, or the whole range, is very, very impressive. So maybe look at those numbers there. I, 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 distance doesn't worry me too much. Three yards there. It's not enough for me to call it between those two. So I'm going to go looks. Um, I probably prefer that slightly more compact Mizuno iron in terms of a look behind the golf ball. It's not too small, like the muscle back, but it's, it is a bit smaller than the... Um, than the, the Strix in there. So probably looks, it, it, it's, it's just gonna edge it for me. Feel, God, they're very, very similar. They both feel really soft. If I'm gonna edge it, I'll probably go Mizuno, but literally, just if I have to pick one, I'm gonna go Mizuno there. Uh, very, very similar on that on that feel. In terms of numbers there, um, again, it's not a massive amount in it to make a call for me. You know, they're both spinning a good numbers, only 100 and some revs between those two irons. It's not enough for me to say, oh, well, that's definitely better. It's very, very similar on its performance there, but probably for me, the Mizuno is just going to edge it. So it's going to be interesting here because I am looking for a new set of sticks. Possibly these could be the ones to go in there. I might do some videos here and a what's in the bag video, maybe some testing here and narrow it down into my maybe new set of irons, you know, I'm looking to upgrade, I'm looking to refresh, not that play a massive amount, but you know, I wouldn't mind a new set of bats in the uh, bag, so it's a strong contender, okay, but two very good irons there. Okay guys, so hope you enjoyed the video, please, um, you know, share it around, comment down below, got any thoughts between these, if you've got any more ideas of who, who you want me to pitch any of these irons up against for future videos, then obviously do comment down below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll look forward to catching you all very soon.